Hi, I'm Mark Guerin. I'm a designer on Tales of Monkey Island. This is the audio commentary for Chapter 2, The Siege of Spinner K. Uh, Dave Bogan, director of art. Uh, Mike Stemley, a designer. I'm Jake Rodkin. I do stuff. I'm Eric Parsons, cinematic artist. Quality. I'm Daniel Farjam H. Palm, Rio de la Losa Herrera, <laughs> <laughs> cinematic artist. Uh, I'm Sean Vanneman. I'm a designer. Daniel is Doro's cousin. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Early on, we decided we were going to do some previouslys in, uh, in front of every episode, and in order to avoid having to do huge cutscenes at the beginning, we came up with this conceit of the uh, tarot cards that the voodoo lady was throwing down. Which is awesome. Which is yeah. awesome. Uh, also, a great way to highlight Ryan Jones's art. Yeah. Yes. Which is stellar. Now, wait a minute. Wait, that's a different line. <laughs> 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 and our first introduction to Morgan LaFleur. Oh my god, it's Kate Cass. <laughs> no, no, it's <laughs> Morgan LaFleur. No, it was talked about hot. in the first episode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So, sword fighting, that was fun. Yeah. A lot of kudos go to Jessica Lozano for uh, doing all the sword fighting animations. And, uh, she's someone who actually knows how to sword fight. So, unlike the rest of us <laughs> wussy guys, Jessica actually has like blades at her yeah, desk. Yeah, it's like a halberd or something. <laughs> yes, she speaks. So you're very nice when you come to her. Yeah. <laughs> she speaks softly and carries a very Especially big sword. Especially when you're trying to correct her work. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we uh, interviewed her, and I asked, uh, "Tell me about your sword fighting skills." Or anyone in the room asked, looked at me like, "Wait, this, this is what you usually ask?" Or? <laughs> <laughs> the stock question. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> what just happened? Big moment. Yes, very early in the season we also decided we wanted to cut off Guybrush's hand. Oh uh, yes. Hey. That was one of Ron Gilbert's favorite things when yeah. we pitched this. That's true. Yeah. So we wanted to give him a hook. Yep. Like a proper pirate. So a very small detail, but kind of fun, is that uh, this is one of the few times that we... Well, one of the first times that we had oh, Winslow in the toilet. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, that is very fun. Uh, <laughs> that we had uh, during when you're when the players choosing dialogue, uh, we had uh, action going on, and camera cuts, and and um, you don't feel like the action stops; it just keeps going. And there's no example of this in, in this reel, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you play the game, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we were casting for uh, for Morgan LeFlay, and we had a lot of different people uh, uh, trying out. The, originally, she was kind of described as this kind of hard-ass Han Solo kind of character, and uh, we couldn't quite get to, uh, a person who had the, the right kind of vocal quality, and what we ended up with was not at all what we were looking for, but I think Nikki did a great job and brought a lot of character to it that made me kind of rethink the, the fangirl side of her a little bit, and I think that worked out really well for, uh, for the relationship that went on, but that was... Yeah. Not what we were expecting to to get from from Morgan. Yeah, our productions are fairly organic sometimes. Yeah, yeah. things yeah, kind of sure. take a life of their own. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the voice actor quickly like reshapes or like reimagines the character yeah. pretty quickly. I guess another example of that is uh, the Marquis de Sims. I mean, we did a lot of the animation for him before we even heard the voice, and what came back was just crazily different than what we were all imagining, and. <coughs> As the season progressed, we kind of threw in animations here and there to help build up what he should have looked like to match that crazy voice, which is awesome. So, Merfolk controversy. Yeah, talk about, yeah. Mer talk about Merfolk, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sexually Merfolk. ambiguous Merfolk. Uh, you know, I don't even know where the concept originally came from. No, I know where I it came from. <laughs> Deep oh, in your please, mind. Please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't know. <laughs> I thought you were going to enlighten me. No, no, no. Come on. Um, <laughs> honestly, I don't remember where the idea came from, but once uh, I thought of it, I think it was because I wanted to get the, them off to a, a completely exotic location that felt different from any other Monkey Island location that we'd been to before. And this kind of self-contained uh, little island here with the waterfalls and a whole new race of people is that was something totally different, and I wanted to explore that. <laughs> And yeah, not everybody liked it, but uh, I still stand by it. I stand just, uh, by it. I, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we were able to pull it off. I was actually, just it's like I, I had no idea how it was actually going to look in the end. We just sort of were heading towards our direction of, you know, 
David Bowie is a mermaid. Uh, um, and, and we kind of went from there. I really like Guybrush and Elaine's conversations in this episode. Kind of nicely establishes their normal relationship. Yeah, the, the scene when Elaine comes running down the stairs <clears throat> and then sees that his hand is chopped off is really good. Yeah. So that was the clip we put out for this episode, actually. And a lot of Monkey Island fans are like, oh, man. What's this then? <laughs> also really good is LeChuck. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Human LeChuck is just great. Yeah, this came out really nicely. I was dubious of human, of human LeChuck when, when you two guys first pitched it. Especially that he was going to be the nicest guy in the world. I was like, really? That? But, oh, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He ended, uh, These scenes worked out really nice. Kelsey Grammer. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's Kelsey Tiger, Grammer. Tiger, Tiger, it's Tony Kelsey... Tony it's, the Tiger? It's, yeah. it's <laughs> Kelsey Grammer slash Aquaman and Brave and the Bold. Uh, it's kind of outrageous, Skybrush. Kevin Blackton, is that the, that's the voice actor, is yes. awesome. <laughs> that guy gets yeah, into every a, line. He did an amazing job. Yeah. Six, six, five, six, six, five six, six, giant. One of the original uh, puzzles that we were going to do, or, or not going to do, oh, but I pitched it, was the tango, the big dance number. Instead of uh, Guybrush and, and uh, LeChuck, Guybrush trying to teach LeChuck how to do a puzzle, there was this big maze of traps set up. And uh, they each had to help each other to get through it. And as they were going through and making their motions, there was some music started playing, and they ended up dancing a tango and got this golden rose at the end. But that was just, that would have been the budget for the entire series if they tried to pull that off. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, but, so instead, uh, they solve a scum puzzle. Yes. <laughs> It's probably turned out for better. Yeah. Well, what, what's it's awesome funnier. about that, that puzzle, though, is like if you ever have watched someone trying to play an adventure game, yeah, and you're like, no, just go, just <laughs> yeah, use. Yeah. yeah. So. Do you want me to tell you? Because I can. I can just tell you right now what it is. <laughs> Don't tell me. I can figure it out. So. Anyway. There's a really nice condescending tone that, that Dominic pulls off. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh, so good. And, yeah, I love, I love how, how often he points out, like, you know, well, it's important for you to show off for your wife and that kind of stuff. It's... Oh, the first pox. The first pox moment. Yeah. This is uh, something that was quite organic as well. It kind of developed as we went along. The, the, the whole the pox effects. Pox, like, yeah. what do people look like when they're pox? Right. And there's different levels of pox and... We'll get these artifacts. All that kind of thing. And uh, I remember when, when you and I, Bogan, were going through the moods, we were starting to say, well, Guybrush doesn't really get, like, super angry, you know. Or, you know, we don't really expect him to be really sarcastic because he's just, like, a fun-loving guy. But, you know, uh, very quickly we discover that, that he just needs that full range of emotions. Especially for the pox. Uh, you, you touched on it before in the previous episode, but uh, you were talking um, about... Um, advances we made in acting and a big part of that was not just before we used to read the script and talk with the designers about okay well what moods are these characters going to be in while they're delivering their lines and what we found uh, was more beneficial to actually just go through the emotions like Guybrush has like 16 or 18 or something like that and even though the lines aren't intended to be read in a certain mood we find that just having those moods available to switch in and out of to get um, nice basically sub thoughts in acting, nice yeah, uh, helped deliver the acting a lot better. Really sorry about the nice cans joke, folks. <laughs> <laughs> People loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice cans. <laughs> that was the pirate song from Monkey Three, but as performed by Jared, I think. Yes. No, I don't think that was a. Uh, it might have been a. Uh, it's not a original a Michael Lance scratch track. Really? It's Whoa. Like doing that. <laughs> wow. Not to confirm that, but uh, I think that's what that was. <laughs> so uh, Spinner K looks awesome too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say that when we come, there's that one shot, kind of the establishing shot of Spinner K, where it's like, oh man, this is like if there was a Monkey Island theme park. Like, yeah. I want to hang out here yeah. for a while. I think this was the first time we actually did the like the dialogue fall off as well. If I remember when they're yeah. having conversations yeah, the in argument. the back, yeah. when, if this, the volume gets louder or it should get closer, I don't think we had done that before. Yeah. Another another reason that uh, Randy Tudor hated his life yes. Yes. for about six months. Yes. Well, and there's also the siege that you uh, wired up. Use. Uh, okay. <laughs> huh? The 800 cannonballs? Yes. 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 Cannonballs. Actually, two cannonballs. <laughs> 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 watching the, watching those cannonballs come to life yep. over the course of like a week was really funny at Jake's desk. <laughs> it's like, 
for a while it just looked like a like a snake trail through the air. I think it's great that that Tetra then hates you after you get the the, 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 the cheesiest book in the. I hate you now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cute. I'm a little closer. Gotcha. This is my favorite stupid thing. We had an entire ocean, but Guybrush had to go fishing in a little well. Guybrush <laughs> Streetwood, obtainer of cranky golden fish arms. <laughs> I give you a full mass replacement. I'll be right back. <laughs> she does this really quick. How does she get all the way over there and fix a boat? Grease, uh, that was foreshadowing Largo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 up later. Oh. Yeah. Well, I didn't talk about the map uh, in Winslow. The uh, Winslow's love of the map actually came about because players hadn't navigated with the map yet. Uh, in episode one, there was no moving around, and so I I wouldn't uh, have guessed people would just figure it out. So I wanted another player, Winslow, just to uh, tell it to you. And uh, I wasn't confident that you would get it the first time, so I had him say it a couple of times, and then I realized I was overdoing it. So I went with that. <laughs> because <laughs> that's part of Monkey his Island. That's really is. good. It's important to overdo the joke. It's funny how those things turn out to be the most funny and and loved things, I think, from the fans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, man, uh, classic Rod can cannonball. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> classic. <laughs> Don't look at that shot, though. There's somehow, like, sorry. I know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure if we had this tech in Wallace, but I think Spinner K is a probably a pretty good example to show uh, the characters moving in and out of different pools of light. Oh, yeah. Um, well, the I don't know if we had that on Wallace. The Kava's Hut. Yeah, we really took advantage of that on this entire series, and it got better and better as it went on. Yeah, this is the first time I remember and, seeing that. Oh, man. And Derek is the one who uh, did a lot of that effort. Yep. All right. Let's sneak out to my ship and sail out of here. Right, your ship. That's also, this environment had about, I like, what, five nav cams or something? Yeah. <laughs> and we're not leaving yet. Um, at least, okay. I mean, in the first half of it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we had a few more. The nav cam that goes from the top down through the wall. Oh, from the bait shop down? Yeah, I like that one. That's cool. Oh, Bill. It's uh, <laughs> generic pirate. Yeah. Bill, Ted, and Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Ted, and yeah. Kevin. These poor guys. I meant to actually give them pirate names. <laughs> I never actually got around to it. Well, it's it. Ted the Thief, Thiefman. Okay. Yeah. Well, they didn't <laughs> get those names Thiefman. until episode five. <laughs> 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 that little jab in the face kills me. <laughs> I'm sad that we didn't make Kevin look like Kevin. Yeah. I know, but we talked him, about it. Yeah. But it's me, Oh, the well, creepy. He needs to look like Graham Annabelle's oh, Kevin. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you thought he was gone. Melty. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, Gabrush, master of obvious. Over the edge you go. <laughs> 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 I was really with claymation helped us. I like that puzzle because I, I got to be mean with it. I, I set it up so that when you had the melted pyrite, you thought you knew exactly what you had to do. You ran right there, and that was wrong. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's good old fashioned adventure gaming. Guybrush has an animation where he checks his nails. <laughs> He's a little yeah. vain. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, part of his crowd, I think. <laughs> 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 Nick shot of LeChuck. This must be the weak point in the blockade. Now all I need to do. I like that the weak point in the blockade is the one part where the <laughs> yeah, two the ships, ships are, are closer <laughs> together than anywhere else in the episode. <laughs> it's because of the guys in it. There should have been 50 ships out there, but. We didn't have 50 ships. They're yeah. off screen. <laughs> <laughs> the map only shows six. <laughs> <laughs> so Trenchfoot and Hardtack should have their own uh, spin-off, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. with Thanks, Mark. Along with Guybrush's hand. Yeah. Oh, the Guybrush's hand should be Guybrush's hand should be right. with Miss Pretty Whiskers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hand sets sail on like a shoebox. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, I always yeah. wanted Trenchfoot to come back because he's cool. He did. No. In the courthouse. Yes. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. His silhouette is there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he gets through. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Okay. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. 
Anyway, <laughs> yes. It would be too many good Andrew Chaikin characters in one episode. Too. Yeah. Andrew Chaikin, man of a thousand voices. I don't need to know stuff. I've got the box. <laughs> Surprised you get a character upside down. Yeah. Surprised I didn't. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how we first framed that scene. It wasn't off of this strange mechanical pole. <laughs> I think it was a. It was a rope, wasn't it? It was probably a rope sack, if I had to guess. Sack, uh, <laughs> the rope sack. The whole rope sack. Oh, I forgot about the classic rope sack joke. Yeah. It's not so much a it's joke. It's a joke as <laughs> it something so really gonna, sad. Gonna <laughs> it's just sad. Let's not call it classic yeah. either. <laughs> <laughs> we went back to that rope sack well. Many times. So in uh, Monkey Island, it was just Elaine, or did we have others? In the rope sack? I think we only we had Elaine in the rope sack. What about... Uh, we got that out of the way quick. In yeah. design yeah. pitches, though, rope sack came up. Yeah. Oh, there's a rope sack. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. The compass <laughs> crew was originally going to be tied up in a giant a rope sack. sack. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why do you keep bothering me? Are you Believe it. Trust us. This is all much funnier <laughs> if you know the context. <laughs> Steve Ropesick, <laughs> the sad character that we cut. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber trees. This is one of those things where, on paper, from a third-party perspective, I was like, rubber tree mask, I'm like, okay. But then it all kind of comes together in a really awesome way. Rubber trees are a uh, well, classic <laughs> Bucky Island trope. Oh, I made that, You yeah. sank McGillicuddy. I sank McGillicuddy. I love the voice of the merfolk leader. I was very happy that when we got the voices back and the animators started putting them together, they, they weren't sure themselves whether they were male or female actors doing the voices. All three of them. <laughs> <laughs> All three of them were perfect. It was like, is that B, Arthur? <laughs> I just, it takes me by surprise. But I forget Those that are I, like the creepiest I forget that that's like on Guybrush's Wikipedia page. It's like, cannot throw. Yeah. <laughs> Was it written like that? Yes. 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 Yeah. Because <laughs> he can't. It, it throws like a girl all through the uh, first episode too. A girl who can't throw. <laughs> yes. Not. Not Elaine. Elaine can probably throw. Just realize that Jacques is in. Was that Jacques in uh, LeChuck's hat? There's a couple of assorted monkeys. He's like hanging out up there. It's the monkey character. It was his. Was his oh, tail metal Jacques. or or not? Oh, he doesn't have those green eyes. No. Yeah. Right. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. And just grabbing his hand like a little lanterns. kid. Yeah, the jellyfish lanterns are awesome. I don't yeah. know what they are, but they're, they're, they're cool. jellyfish. <laughs> don't worry, boy. I will take good care of her. <laughs> Jake, do you remember what we were going to call this island at the very beginning? Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. Huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, sound man Sean Finney wants us to tell horrible stories. No, we're not going to say that. All right. We probably could have done without those weird sea creatures in the grand scheme of life. <laughs> oh, but they are the most where the hell did these <laughs> yeah, come from, from characters in the entire series, yeah. yeah we, we should use them yeah. somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know. I've always sort of Make thought that this game takes place like hundreds of miles from the main Monkey Island sort of space, so it's okay for this weird I crash. do like that we kind of yeah. put all the strange stuff at Spinner K. I think that yeah. was really smart. Yeah. Like, it was enough for one episode. Yes. <laughs> it was all a dream. They go to just the Bizarro dream. Caribbean. Right. Yeah. Well, just like they're like they're about to fall off the cliff at the end of the McGallan <laughs> universe in this in this location, basically, yeah. and that's where the the weird business is. Oh, Morgan again. Ugh. Can't get rid of her. She's all sass though. I mean, Winslow yeah. only has this one pose with no animations that he has. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've pointed it out, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's, our, it's our homage to the Pirates of the Caribbean. Winslow yeah. drives the whole scene. Yes. <laughs> the tension of Winslow really carries for. Look, you're looking at his eyes. Only his eyes. That's one of my favorite Morgan expressions. My favorite is the scared one. When her eyes like triple in size. <laughs> yeah. oh, coming up soon. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's our homage to <laughs> it's our homage to Jaws, <laughs> with creatures replacing the little barrels. <laughs> we replaced barrels with mystical <laughs> creatures. Yes. <laughs> barrels is too easy. So it's also a little weird to see Garbage like with a little bit of mojo, right? 
Yeah, but she never a little bit. <laughs> what? Just oh, just I don't know. He's kind of sweet talk, Morgan. Yeah. 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 Uh, Guybrush, 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 do whatever it takes yeah. to get people to do stuff for him. You don't have the skills or the wit to defeat Guybrush. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, that wasn't a criticism, it was just, you know, a novelty. Hole in your chest. See, that wasn't witty at all. I think I was thinking about uh, an original Monkey Island when Guybrush Boom. first got the root beer bottle and was just roaming around kicking ass with that thing. Right. Or so like, he has his moments of, yeah. of like, awesomeness. Oh, oh, man. When he tries duh, to sweet talk the lane to get the map piece, yeah. you know, yes. I mean, like, he'll dun, 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 uh, dun, 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 dun. Oh, my God. Every time. Oh, I love yeah. this scene. That manatee was oh. so big that he yeah, would not fit. actually fit in the Sky Dome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he broke the sky. He penetrated the it's sky It's sarcastically dome. big, yeah. Yes. Awesome. Thanks for listening. Woo! Woo. Good work. Yeah. The bacteria yeah. is meat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well played, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's, we're not supposed to talk about yeah, right, yeah, this, right? We're done. What are we? Hello? Hey! He said bacteria is meat. meat. <laughs> <laughs>